My name is Evelina Lamu and I am in my second year here at VAU and I decided to make a documentary about a local girl here from Nanaimo. Her name is uh, Jenna Carver and she used to play basketball for the Mariners for four years. And the reason why I wanted to do the documentary was because I wanted to highlight the difficulties of having to quit a sport, no matter the reason really, and what you can do as an athlete to contribute back to the community after you're done but also mostly the emotional connections that you have to the sport because I feel like there's a lot of time where coaches forget to help you and support you once you're done. So mainly that. The process of the whole documentary has been very helpful for me to, to know more where I want to go with my filming and the media studies in general. I find that when you're in a program it's kind of difficult to know what direction you're gonna take and by doing some projects that are gonna have a bigger outcome than you expect it's really helping you to shape that in media and the program overall is very amazing I really look forward to the next two years that follows My name is Jenna Carver. I played basketball at VIU from 2010 to 2015. Um, from there, I got my Bachelor of Business Administration degree, and I have been out in the community ever since, um, working in the workforce. It's always a really hard and tough transition after you play basketball or um, any sport for so long, and you go back into that gym, and you're there as a spectator, you know? The first time, I, I'd been in the gym, you know, walking around, working out, um, never really playing basketball other than a couple of little recreational games. But the hardest part, stepping into that gym, um, watching the team play was definitely the hardest transition. It's, it's really, you can't even explain it. It's such a weird feeling um, seeing the team that you spent so much hours and time with out there without you and you know you're you're in a spectator role you're you're just watching on the sidelines getting a wholly different perspective of the game and what goes on and it's it's weird it, it was it was sad you know it really makes you miss it and it makes you you know really like cherish and think about like all those memories and things that happened throughout those years and you really kind of puts everything all that hard work and all those times like where you maybe doubted yourself into perspective and you look back and it's not a regret feeling. It's not something that, you know, you you don't regret what went on during those times or, um, you know, you don't think about, oh, I could have done this better, I could have done that better, or I wish my years ended up like this. It's just more of like, a, you know, you just take it all in and you appreciate those hours and that time that you got to be on that court and you really, you know, you understand why what made it all worth it. As soon as I was done playing basketball, though, I had some opportunities. Uh, to get out in the community and people wanted me and to volunteer so I Without a question I jumped on those opportunities and said why not why would I not go and help when I could so I was given a couple teams um, a couple little programs and To help with and from there I just kind of fell in love and I really figured out My purpose and why I was doing what I was doing. Um, I would say it actually started a little bit into the end of my career I started to realize how important it was to give back and to be part of the community and the duty that we had as athletes to provide that kind of mentorship for the young athletes in Nanaimo and surrounding areas and I felt it was our duty to give back because we were given such good opportunities when we were growing up and I would not be where I was today if I didn't have that kind of mentorship and people in my life you know giving me the skills and the mindsets that I needed to grow and become the athlete that I was. So I felt that it was my duty and to give back to society and help in any way that I could. And that's kind of where it all started. As a coach now, when I'm in the gym, they're teaching me more about myself than I find that I'm teaching them sometimes. Um, I think I try and teach them that although we're playing a sport, that there's more to it. I try and teach them a lot of a lot of my game and my things that I think I'm good at is my mental 
mental capacity and my toughness. So I try and teach them, you know, kind of how to be more mentally prepared for situations and how to take things on, you know, with a tough attitude and, you know, to prove that you can do no wrong and to have that confidence and to be able to step foot in the gym knowing that you you could be the best and you will be the best if you have that mindset when you go in there. And it, it doesn't have to be a gym. It could be a classroom. It could be a job interview. It could be a family dinner. Just creating that level of confidence. And, you know, when I go in and I coach with confidence and, you know, I'm not afraid to mess up and I'm not afraid to tell the girls how I'm feeling. And, you know, I think if I act that way, then if they take anything from that and, you know, use that confidence in their everyday life, then I'm, then I'm succeeding and I'm doing my job. When I was going to school and playing basketball, you know, you had that, you had that extra edge of playing the sport and, you know, staying fit. It kind of allowed you to stay fit. You didn't really have to think about it. So now it's kind of, I go to the gym to fill that void that I'm missing not being able to play every day or not being able to get in the gym with my team every day um, or alone. So now when I go to the gym, I just kind of keep that in mind that, you know, I want to maintain the same type of physical fitness and health that I had back then. So one of my favorite quotes is, effort beats talent when talent fails to work hard. And that's something that I've told every single team that I've ever had the opportunity of coaching. It's something that I, I believed in when I played. And if I could somehow be able to help all the kids that I coach and teach them that lesson that, you know, if you come out and effort will be talent when talent fails to work hard, you know, then my job is, my job's basically done. You know, I, that's my biggest thing is trying to teach them that you can do anything you put your mind to and it's more than just a game and that at the end of the day, these things that you're learning on the court and in sport are gonna help you in so many ways and just push you to be such a good member of society and someone that, you know, hopefully you'll be able to see that power and be able to give back and see like the Im impact that you can have on the future of young adults and kids. And maybe one day they'll become good coaches and wanna feel the need to help society and give back because they feel it's their duty because they were given such good mentorship. I'm not saying it, it was gonna be me, I'm not saying that I'm going to be that person to tell them um, that they need to get out there and, you know, help as much as they can. But as long as I teach them one little thing to help them in their everyday life, then, then what more could you ask for as a, as a coach?